I didn't even put a title. Hey, everybody. Hello. Sorry, I am a little late because I had a client I had to finish working with. So I'm here, accounted, and present. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's get right into it. I'm Sandy. I'm your business strategist here. And tonight we're going to talk about how you're going to be able to get some of this grant funding out here for you. Yeah, 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 if you are interested. So if you don't share this, if you listen to the replay, please share this with someone so where they can be able to have some opportunities and get some funding for their startup business or their business that they already have. Now, let me give you a little background and a little history. First, before I do that, yesterday we went over talking about personal credit. The other, what's today, Wednesday, Monday, we went over um, business credit. And um, we talked about that. And that's a very important part of you getting funding for your businesses. And you getting out here and getting some of this opportunity. Y'all talk about reparations all the time. Well, here you go. This is your reparation. <laughs> Alrighty. That's what they, you, a lot of you do. You talk about it all the time. But here again, no, seriously, the opportunities are here for you. And whatever you're going to do with your business, let me make sure that I'm Sometimes my my speaker is because I be using Zoom and this, so I want to make sure that it's working. Let me let me make sure that it's working. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. My voice is working. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's get into it now. Let me give you a little history of what's going on with grants and things like that. Well, you know, there's been um, another bill that was passed and the states are going to get the funding to help boost the economy up. Right. But this is way before they I guess. Well, of course, you know, they knew the recession was coming. We just didn't because they got firsthand information and they, they see what's going on every day in an economy. They see what's not happening. They see what's going on, how things change, how the GDP is changing and things like that. So, you know, in order for them to get prepared for it, so they, they had to um... <laughs> Hey, we, uh... <laughs> so in order for them to prepare for it, they had to um you know, they had to go ahead and, and just, you know, help boost the keep the economy up, to boost the economy up. Now, as a matter of fact, when all of that happened and the states end up, I think the states are, is trickling down now because the last I checked earlier and the states are getting the funding. The states are getting the funding. You need to go to um, fed.gov. Let me see. Let me see. Federal, federal, federal. I think it's the Fed. It's Fed.gov. It's the federal procurement. Um, let me see exactly, because I just had it up earlier. I got so much things going on. I can't keep up with all these websites. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I really want to, but I just can't. But let me let me pull something up for you here. And look at, let me see, let me go back and look at my history from earlier today. And I can tell you what I've been looking at. How about that? All right. All right. Let's see. Early on, let's see. I was, um, um, hold on a second. Because what, what a lot of you have to do is if you don't, already have your business structured and set up you need to go ahead and do that because i think the most the last of the grants that i've heard of they will be they will be done by they will they will make the final decision on disbursement around september of this year so that means you need to get your information in you gotta have your business stuff together what i mean is they want to know what you're going to do with this money you got to have what are you going to use it for you if you're going to hire people you got to know how to have that structure because you definitely got to have the basic stuff like for instance the basic things of your employees if you're going to hire folks how much you're going to have to take out how much you're going to have to pay in taxes you should already have that calculated what you're going to need how you're going to grow within the next what six to twelve months 
things like that. They need to know all of that. And if a lot of you have this opportunity or you have a business that you want to grow and you got you have an opportunity to get the funding, you better get on, get off your butt and you better get this stuff together. And my services will help you do it. OK, so I'm just letting you know that trans being transparent about that. So if you, you know, if you feel like. I'm still looking if you feel like that um, you qualify. Hey, I would advise you to make sure that you qualify by doing the paperwork and giving them what they ask for, because they are requiring that you give them documentation. And it, let's say, for instance, if you've already had a business and it's been up and running for a while, I'm looking down, guys, because I'm looking. I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to find that information for y'all. That's what I'm trying to do. Um. Um, it's it's on the federal federal government, but I do know on the 11th they updated the list and they've been adding states, so they're sending funding to the state. I think they're even sending funding to help those that you know, like if you need to pay your utility bills and things like that, they are helping you. Um, they're they're giving that money to the state. They're awarding that to the state too as well. But it, it's a different kind of program that they call. But they have money that they're releasing to the states. And if you don't use, if they don't use that money, they're going to send it back to the government. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, um, you qualify for that. And then one more thing I do want to say for those that are not registered with SAM.gov, S-A-M-G-O-V, SAM.gov, you need to make sure they don't use, um, you need to make sure you get registered with them. And if you want to know about, more about that, you can DM me and let me know, you know, what you, you know, what, what kind of questions you want to ask and what you need to know about that. Now, they don't use the DUNS number anymore because you used to have to have a DUNS number when you were registering with SAMS. That's for government contracts and things like that, too. Now, that's an opportunity that a lot of you with businesses are aspiring, even startups. That's something that you can look into and the reason why i talked about getting your business credit and your personal credit together because when these opportunities come about you know come up for you these are some of the things that you need to make sure that you have together you have in line you you can't be trying to get ready you need to be ready and a lot of times we miss opportunities because we're not ready and a lot of people that have businesses saying oh i can't get this and i can't get that you may not have the right information but the information is being given to you here tonight and a lot of you ain't going to do nothing with it. I wish you will, but some of you ain't going to do nothing with it. You'll probably sit around, sit around and make excuses about what's you sit around and make excuses about what's what. And um, call her back a few minutes. I call her back and you, you sit around and make excuses. But guess what? You miss opportunity while you sit around, around complaining. So there's another I'm, I'm looking for what they're requiring you to have coming you know forward when it comes down to you need a unique entity id number and you have to when you apply through sams.gov sams s-a-m g dot g-o-v s-a-m dot g-o-v you got to go ahead and register your entity for that so and that takes a few days to do that because I did that with my business. And it takes it takes a few days for you to hear a response and go ahead and get an approval, whatever. And then you can apply for government grants once that time comes. Hey, hey. And once that um once that time come. So you make sure that you are prepared. Now, let me tell you, let me let me say this to you. Find out. These are some of the things I need you to, you guys to do. I need you to find out. Let me see if anybody coming or anybody asking me some questions because I'm on this screen here. And, um, and a lot of you may not be able to see me. Let's see. Who's asking some questions? Y'all need to ask some questions. <laughs> Why y'all got me on live? Y'all better ask me some questions. <laughs> okay. All righty. Now, let me, let me go here. Let me tell you about the next code. When you are starting a business, you can do this even if you're not getting government funding or you're not getting, you know, government contracts or things like that. 
you need a next code. You need to know what's your next code for your particular industry. Sometimes you have two or three of them. Sometimes you may just have one, but that is a sure way for you to be in a position so where you can be able to be prepared for government opportunities or grant opportunities or loan opportunities in a basic, you know, in a good way. Okay. N-A-I-C-S, that's NAX code. Make sure that you can go, you can Google that and it's a list of them, but you can narrow it down. You can do a search of your industry and then it'll narrow it down and give you a smaller pool of what numbers that you need to have, right? So that is one thing that if you don't do nothing but just Google it, find out what they are, you can go to nax dot you know dot dot com and you can get go right there and it'll give you a wealth of information for that. But what I'm gonna tell you is even if you don't do nothing but go research them and write them down and put them in your you know your business file or whatever you have. Make sure that you know what they are. Don't try to be listen, people. Stop, start being proactive in your business success start being proactive in your business success okay now with the sam.gov situation here you you're going to have to be very very ready to you're going to have to be equipped and prepared for that so some of the things that they're going to require of you and a lot of you will be surprised at what businesses you have um you can have a farm business and Mm-hmm. Your son is in your um <laughs> everybody wanna call me tonight. I talked to y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, you can go to your you can have a farm or you in you you can get a government contract to supply them with goods because the government needs you. They need small businesses to be around. And if you are one of those ones that have a business that's going to create jobs, let me tell y'all the game. Let me tell you, it ain't it ain't a game, but you know that's just a terminology everybody uses. Let me tell you the game. Let me hip you them to, to some game. If you have a business and you're one of the ones that you want to start a business and you can create jobs and you can prove and show them you can create jobs, you need you need to be trying to get you a grant, a loan, or whatever like yesterday. They are looking for you. They want to have you around because you are the one that's going to keep the economy going. You're going to be able to fund the government because you're hiring people to help pay taxes, right? Okay. What doesn't it, when Jeff Bezos, everybody was talking about, they were so upset because he wasn't paying any taxes. Do you you know why he wasn't paying any taxes? He had little or no taxes to pay because he was creating jobs. He was creating jobs. And when people work and in employees, they have taxes taken out of their of their salary or their their income that they make and they have of their gross pay. And then guess what? That's taxes they have to pay. So if I let's say, for instance, with me, if I got a company and I make creating jobs for about, 50, let's say, 50 people, just even 50 people. But I think it's under mostly the benefits come in if you got on a have under 500 people, you know, have a 500 employees in case you didn't know that. But let's say for instance, hypothetically, I, even with the 50 people, I get a, a good tax break. I, you know, I, the tax code gives me all kind of benefits with just 50 employees. So don't look at it like you can have four or five employees. Don't look at it like it's not a benefit to have this these opportunities and like i said a lot of you are missing out if you want to hide something to a uh, my dad used to always tell me this no offense to anybody if you want to hide something from a black person put it in a book because y'all ain't gonna read (laughs) a lot of you won't read okay you read certain things but you won't you won't read for um for, for a lot of opportunities you miss out on a lot of opportunities just because you don't read. I'm telling you, I know this for a fact. And they talking about you. They, they talking about you, even in your communities. You, you really, you ain't, some of you have the capacity, the ability, the finances, the funding or whatever to do, do some great things in your communities and do some great things even for you. Leave all kind of legacy, but yet and still, you still want to 
you just don't want you, you, you don't want to do it. You always want to just do do the norm. You don't want to get out your comfort zone and get to the next level. I'm telling you. All righty. Okay. Now, back to what I was saying about sams.gov. You have to have now, instead of the Duns number, you have to have a unique ID, um, entity ID number. And what, what that means is that's a, a number that's a number that you have to register with them and they're going to ask you some specific questions about your business and things like that so you're going to have to you know register so any of this grant money that y'all here that y'all talking about this is not the ppp era this is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about grants and fundings a lot of it that's coming to your states and the sam.gov is more like for contracts and things like that but your business can be it doesn't have to be a a, a business that you think that the gov it's all the government is doing business with all kind of businesses and all kind of all sorts of businesses but you and you need to make sure that you are together too you got your structure set up correctly if you want to know everything that you need you need to click the link in my bio and go and click the button and get the free guide i have a couple of free things that can help you and even the equipment that you need or tools that you need just to start your business, it can be a brick and mortar or it can be an online business. I get, I have the tools in telling you what you need in order for you to go ahead and make some stuff happen for yourself. Ain't charging you anything. It's, you need to get it and read it. And it's not a lot of long, drawn out stuff. And I think everything that I've been creating lately, I even you know put videos with it so I can go along with you. With, with the guide and tell you exactly and explain to you a little bit more of the benefits of having all that stuff. So anyway, at any rate, I'm going to get ready to get off here because I do have to call my client back. Um, that's a client of mine that I'm working with on some stuff and I do think we need to handle this tonight. So I'm going to cut this short, but I am definitely going to, I may do another workshop. I did one last Saturday. I don't, I, I am not, don't hold me to it because I may not even plan it. But I definitely want to know if you have any questions, just DM me and let me know so where I can help you if you are one of those ones that's on the on the side, and, you know, don't really know much about what to do about these business grants and things like that. But you have to be prepared. You have to write your proposal. You got to get all that stuff. You have to be have to give them accurate information. So if you don't request the money, it's going back to the government. If you, your state doesn't request it, and it's so, you know, there's a lot of people that qualify that are not applying. So I want you to just check with your states, and I think I'm going to put that entity, I'm, I'm going to put that information on my, I'll put it up a little later. I'm going to put it up a little later so I can give you that link to the website. I'll do that later, yeah, because I need to find that for you. And you just click on that and find out what you need to know about the grants, okay? All righty. Alrighty, y'all have a blessed night. And if let me check and see if it was no more no questions or anything. Okay. Well, nobody had any questions, but I'm glad that uh hopefully this information was a little bit help and I just kind of gave you some little tips and some little nuggets. So that was that was the purpose. Okay, <laughs> yeah, alrighty. I'm gonna put it up in a little bit. I'm gonna put it up. Oh, you so welcome, hunty. <laughs> you so welcome, dear. Oh, who are you talking about me? I I am. <laughs> oh, I love you too. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna give you the link. I'm gonna give you the link in a few minutes. I need to find it, but I need to call my client back first. Okay. All right. All right. Y'all have a blessed night. Okay. Thank you so much. And I hope that that information was kind of cleared up. And as I find out more, I will be back to give you some more information because I think that this is something now. This is an opportunity that a lot of you 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 qualify for and i think that you just think that you you may not you know i i just think that you think you may not you may not qualify so uh, i'm gonna get y'all out of that shell if this last thing i do i'm gonna get you guys out of that reserve shell and i'm gonna get you to thinking of generational wealth because i mean i don't know i just i don't know guys i see some visions that i see some visions for y'all i do i really do i see I see some stuff and I, I think that God, I thank God that he's allowing me to do my thing <laughs> to help you out. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me see something here before I go. Does somebody have a question for me? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Have a be good. Bye-bye.